Can you guess one of America's most famous farmers? Nope, not Old MacDonald, although he did have a farm. It's Abraham Lincoln, 16th president of the United States. Today, he's recognized as the president who led the Union to victory in the Civil War and helped bring about an end to slavery. But few realize the impact Lincoln had on our diet. As Union and Confederate forces fought for the future of the nation, Lincoln realized that without adequate food and supplies, his army would be less likely to win. That's why he asked farmers across the North to give food they grew to the Union Army. But with many men fighting the war, farming responsibility fell mainly to women, who, on top of their domestic work, planted and harvested crops, fed animals, and operated farm machinery. Each month, these farmers supplied the Union Army with around 24 million pounds of beef, eight and a half million pounds of potatoes, and more than 130,000 barrels of flour. Lincoln established the Department of Agriculture to support farmers by testing farm equipment, analyzing soils, and helping find the best seeds for planting. But the USDA didn't go out to pasture in the years after the war. In fact, Lincoln dubbed it the People's Department because around half of the population lived on a farm. Since then, the USDA has taken on new responsibilities, overseeing and managing the country's production of food, crops, and livestock. With around 100,000 employees working across a range of agencies and offices, the department looks after the nation's nutritional welfare, including some farm-to-school grants that provide locally grown nutritious school lunches, and enforces laws like these. It also boosts development in rural areas devoted to agriculture through disaster assistance programs, housing assistance, high-speed internet access, and much-needed health care in remote areas. So the next time you pass a farm, raise your top hat to the man who helped secure the future of U.S. agriculture. Why do you think the USDA puts so many resources into the development of food and agriculture?